Jurassic Park is without a doubt one of the best movies ever made. The movie came out in 1993 and left a huge impact on me. Welcome to Jurassic Park. It's an exciting science fiction action movie with stunning special effects and groundbreaking CGI by Industrial Light and Magic. And the effects still look amazing after all these years. Jurassic Park is directed by Steven Spielberg and the movie won three Oscars, one of them for best visual effects of course. The movie is about a businessman called John Hammond who owns a park with genetically engineered dinosaurs and the park is called Jurassic Park. John needs a group of experts to visit the park before he can open it. And that's when things go terribly wrong. The park is located on a fictional island called Isla Nublar, which is supposed to be off the coast of Costa Rica. The filming locations in this movie are absolutely stunning, so I just had to visit the locations. Jurassic Park was filmed on the Hawaiian Islands and in California, and our trip starts on the Hawaiian island called Kauai. Aloha and welcome to Hawaii. We're currently on the Hawaiian island called Kauai, where most of Jurassic Park was filmed. We just landed in Lihue Airport and we picked up our rental car, which is a 4x4 Jeep Wrangler. It's a good car to get around on the island in all kinds of terrain. But before our adventure begins, we just need to gear up for Jurassic Park. Hold on to your butts. The island of Kauai is absolutely one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. There is beautiful nature everywhere you go, and the mountains are incredible. The island is quite small, it's only about 40 kilometers wide, so you don't have to travel far to get to the different locations. Although it still takes time, there are roads along the coast, but there are only dirt roads in difficult terrain leading to some of the locations in the middle of the island and some of the locations you can't even get to by car. In the very first scene of Jurassic Park, we see a group of workers loading a crate into a pen with a velociraptor inside of it. Things go horribly wrong and a worker is eaten alive. This scene was shot on the north coast of Kauai in the National Tropical Botanical Garden called Limahuli Garden and Preserve, which is a one hour drive from Lihui Airport where we landed. We're now in this beautiful botanical garden surrounded by mountains and this is where the scene with the Velociraptor pin was filmed. And the Velociraptor pin was actually built over there where the visitor center is now located. The scene was shot at night, so it's not easy to recognize the location. You can't see any of the surroundings and the set is no longer there. The ledge right there, that's where the crate with the Raptor was loaded, but it was shot at night, so it's a bit difficult to recognize. The location is seen again later in the movie, when the group is watching the Velociraptors being fed a cow. And this scene was shot during the day, so this time it's easy to recognize the location. So it's somewhere around here that Alan Grant looks at the Velociraptor pin later in the movie, and the others follow him down this path. <laughs> Saying, uh, we laid on lunch for you before you set out into the park. Our gourmet chef, Alan. What are they doing? Oh. Uh. They should all be destroyed. Ah, ah, ah. Robert, Robert Muldoon, my game warden from Kenya. So I've just been into the visitor center to have a look around, but unfortunately there were snow velociraptors. It would have been cool if the velociraptor pin was still here, but it was just built as a set for the movie and was removed after filming. It's free to visit this location if you're just at the visitor center, but while you're at Limahuli Garden and Preserve, you might as well take a self-guided tour in the garden, which is only $25. It's really worth it since the garden and the surroundings are very beautiful. So where do we go from here? Let's have a look in the map. Let's go back to the beginning of the movie. After the scene with the Velociraptor at night, where a worker is eaten alive, we then see the lawyer called Gennaro arriving at the Amber Mine. It's supposed to be in the Dominican Republic, but this location is also on Kauai. The scene was shot at Ho'opi'i Falls, which is in a rainforest on the east side of the island. 
It's not easy to get to this location since it's inside a rainforest and requires some hiking. You can park on the Kapahi Road and then there's a trail inside the rainforest which leads to the location. The hike is only about 500 meters, but it wasn't easy to get to the location and it took us over an hour to find it. It's an easy trail to begin with, but as you get further into the forest, the hike becomes more and more difficult and there are many obstacles along the way. When you finally reach the waterfall, you then have to climb down a steep hill to get to the filming location. I really wonder how the film crew got here. We finally found the location and it's a beautiful place. This is where this scene was shot. In the movie it's supposed to be an amber mine, but really it's just a waterfall. And uh, in the movie there's a mine up there to the left by the tree, but there's nothing there. So it was obviously just a set they built. And the waterfall has a lot more water coming down now than it did in the movie. And the first shot of the scene was shot in that direction when we see the lawyer Gennaro arriving to this location. Hola, bienvenido. What's this out here at the airport? Hammond's not even here? He sends his apologies. We are facing a $20 million lawsuit by the family of that worker, and you're telling me that Hammond can't even bother to see me? He had to leave early. He wants to be with his daughter. She's getting a divorce. Well, I understand that, but we've been advised to deal with the situation now. The insurance company... Okay. The underwriters feel that the accident has raised some very serious safety questions about the park. That makes the investors very, very anxious. I had a promise to conduct a very thorough on-site inspection. Hammond hates inspections. They slow everything down. Juanito, Jefe. they'll pull the funding. Jefe. That'll slow him down Jefe. even more. Seguro. A ver, muéstrame. In the next shot, they're inside the mine, which is obviously filmed somewhere else. I'm not sure if this is a set or an actual mine. In the next scene, we see a dig site where we meet Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler, who have just found a Velociraptor skeleton. This scene is supposed to be in the Badlands in the state of Montana, but it was actually shot in California. So we have to leave Hawaii and travel over 4,000 kilometers to get to the next location. The scene was shot in Red Rock Canyon State Park in California, which is located about 150 kilometers north from Los Angeles. Red Rock Canyon State Park consists of approximately 110 square kilometers, so you need to know exactly where to go if you want to visit this location. When you enter Red Rock Canyon State Park on Highway 14, you need to turn right about 1.4 kilometers from the Abbott Drive intersection. From there, you will need to follow the gravel road on the right for about 1.2 kilometers. It's a very bumpy and uneven road, so it would be best to drive in a 4x4. We didn't have one and actually got stuck on a slope. But after the 1.2 kilometer drive, you just need to walk about 100 meters to get to the exact filming location. We finally found the location. It's only about 100 meters from where we parked. And it wasn't that difficult to find because you can still recognize all the rock formations. And this is where the dig site was and the tent. And when we see Dr. Grant and Dr. Sadler walking down to the dig site, that was filmed up there on that hill. Dr. Grant, Dr. Sadler, we're ready to try again. I hate computers. Feelings mutual. Try to imagine yourself in the Cretaceous period. You get your first look at this six-foot turkey as you enter a clearing, and you keep still because you think that maybe his visual acuity is based on movement like T-Rex. Inside the trailer, Ellen and Ellie meet John Hammond, who owns Jurassic Park. John invites them to the park because he needs a group of experts to inspect it before he can open it. In the next scene, we see Dodson, who meets with Dennis Nedry at a restaurant to talk about smuggling the dinosaur DNA out of Jurassic Park. This is supposed to be in San Jose in Costa Rica, but once again it was actually filmed somewhere else. It was shot back on the Hawaiian island called Kauai, so we're leaving California and going back to Hawaii. The scene was shot on the east coast of Kauai, right at the beach. 
and the exact address is 41620 Kuhiu Highway in Kapa. We've arrived on the location. In the movie, it's supposed to be San Jose in Costa Rica, but it was filmed right here on the east coast of Kauai. This is where Dotson arrives in a taxi to meet up with Dennis Nedry. Unfortunately, it's hard to recognize the location because the surroundings has changed a lot and the building to the right has been replaced by a new one. But Dotson walks this way through a market and then he finds Dennis Nedry who eats at a restaurant down there by the sea. I was hoping at least we could recognize the palm trees, but unfortunately they have grown a lot since 1992 and it looks like some of the trees have been removed. But it's somewhere in this area that Dennis Nedry meets with Dotson and Dennis Nedry get his money and his special can of Barbasol shaving cream. And this isn't a movie prop, you can buy this everywhere on Hawaii. In the next scene, we see the main characters going to Jurassic Park in a helicopter. We then see the helicopter arriving at the island, which is a very stunning location. This scene was shot on another Hawaiian island called Maui on the northeast coast, which is 350 kilometers from the last location on Kauai. Unfortunately, this location is surrounded by big cliffs and there are no roads leading to the shoreline. The only way to see this location is by helicopter. And there is a company offering helicopter tours to the site, but we didn't have time for it, unfortunately. We did go to the island though, and we were able to get a glimpse of the location from the airplane just before we landed on Maui. The rock right there is called Kiopuka Rock. In the movie, the helicopter flies by it when arriving at the island. And today, the rock is also known as Jurassic Rock. Afterwards, the helicopter lands in a beautiful valley next to a big waterfall where two jeeps await them. This is absolutely one of the most beautiful locations from the movie, so I just had to visit this location. The scene was shot back on the Hawaiian island called Kauai. The location is also known as Manawayupuna Falls, which is unfortunately located in the middle of nowhere on the island. There are no roads leading out there, you can only get there by helicopter. The location is also on private land, which doesn't help the situation. But luckily, there is one company called Island Helicopters who is authorized to fly to the location. So we booked the helicopter tour, which was about 75 minutes long, and the price was $684 for me and my assistant. The helicopter takes off in Lihui Airport, which is located on the southeast coast of the island. It was a very beautiful experience to see the island from the sky, and it took about 10 minutes to fly to the filming location. And when the big waterfall came into view, the Jurassic Park theme even played in our headphones. The helicopter lands in a small clearing about 150 meters from the waterfall. And from there, you just need to do a bit of walking to get there. To protect the nature, you're also required to wear protective covering on your shoes. The location is absolutely amazing, and the waterfall is 122 meters tall. The landing pad is no longer there, but this is where it was when the scene was shot. The fence was just built for the movie and was removed after filming. We had about 20 minutes at the waterfall before we had to get back to the helicopter. But we didn't fly directly back to Lihui Airport. The tour also included a fantastic helicopter ride around the entire island. We got to see many beautiful places that you can't really go to other than by helicopter. And I must say, this is the most breathtaking experience I've ever had. The mountains are incredible, and they're mostly green since there are trees and plants everywhere. And there are many other waterfalls to see. The scenery was stunning everywhere we went, so I'm really glad we did the helicopter tour. But let's go back to Jurassic Park. In the next scene, the two jeeps arrive in a grassy field, where the main characters are amazed by seeing a living Brachiosaurus. This scene was shot at Jurassic Kahili Ranch, which is a working cattle ranch located on the northeast part of Kauai and the exact address is 51771D Kuhiu Highway. It's easy to get to this location, since it's just off the main road that goes around the island. But the location is sadly on private property, and the owners don't offer tours of any kind. This is as close as we can get to the location. The scene was shot about two kilometers in that direction, so it's a shame we can't get any closer than this. 
Unfortunately, the owners don't let visitors onto their grounds. We tried to contact them, but without any luck. After the scene with the Brachiosaurus, the two jeeps arrive at the visitor center, where John Hammond wants to show them how the dinosaurs are engineered. The visitor center was a big set they built for the movie, and it was removed again after filming. The scenes at the visitor center were filmed at the Valley House Estate, and the exact address is 6191 Hawala Road in Kapa. But sadly, this location is also on private land. We went there anyway and tried to contact the owners. I was able to contact them on the phone, but they were not interested in letting us in. So we could only see the location from outside the gate. The location was actually just 200 meters away. We could see some of it. The road right there on the other side of the bridge, that's where the two jeeps drive in the beginning of the shot when they arrive at the visitor center. So it's too bad we couldn't get any closer. Only the exterior shots of the visitor center were filmed here. All the interior shots were filmed in a studio in Hollywood. A few other scenes were also filmed here at the Valley House Estate. The scene with the sick Triceratops was also filmed here and the scene where Robert and Ellie come out of the emergency bunker. But let's move on to the next location. After the visitor center, it's time for the group to go on a tour in Jurassic Park. The cars take off from the visitor center in self-driving cars that run on a track. And in the next moment, we see the cars driving through the Jurassic Park gates. Luckily, this location is not on private land. The scenes at the Jurassic Park gates were filmed in the middle of the island on a road called Waikoko Forest Management Road and it's quite difficult to get there. First you drive on a paved road to the Kiahua Arboretum and from there it's a 5.5 km drive on a dirt road with many obstacles along the way. Some of the road is okay, but it becomes more difficult to drive on as you get further. A lot of the road is a very uneven terrain to drive on. There are holes in the ground and a lot of rocks so you can only get to the location in a 4x4 vehicle. There are also a couple of spillways you have to drive through, and one of them was quite big. My assistant went in the water to check how deep it was before we dared crossing it. It must have been really difficult for the film crew to get there too. After a two hour drive on a bumpy road with many obstacles, we finally reached the location where the Jurassic Park vehicles drove on a road through the Jurassic Park gates. And as you can see, there are two poles that marks the spot, but the Jurassic Park gates was actually built about 100 meters further down the road. But unfortunately, if you go down there, there is no clearing and all the plantation has grown a lot since 1992 when the film was shot and you can't see the mountains at all. Information will be automatically selected and displayed for you. Hey, look! Simply touch the area of the screen displaying the appropriate icon. Are we gonna hit that? Welcome to Jurassic Park. All the plants and trees look very different now, so it's impossible to know exactly where on the road the gates were built. In the movie, the road forms a straight line, but it isn't like that anymore. It curves a bit left and right. But let's move on to the next location. The cars finally arrive at the T-Rex paddock, where the cars stop to let the group observe the T-Rex. This location is actually on the same road where the gates were built. You just have to drive 1.2 kilometers further down the road, which is where the road ends. The distance is short, but it took us a while to get there, since this part of the road is even worse. The road is very uneven, and there are big holes in the ground, so we had to drive very slowly. But we managed to get through it all, and finally arrived at the location. We're now standing on the T-Rex paddock location. This is where the two explorers came out of the tunnel over there and drove along the T-Rex fence. The plants has grown a lot since 1992, but you can clearly recognize the mountains in the background. He's gonna eat the goat? Excellent. The fence is no longer here. It was just a set built for the movie. And the tunnel was also just part of the set. If you watch the behind the scenes of Jurassic Park, you can see that the tunnel doesn't lead anywhere. Just behind where the T-Rex fence was built, there is a river, which I really didn't expect. You can't see it when you watch the movie, but you can see it if you watch the behind the scenes. 
It's too bad that the T-Rex fence is no longer here. We should take care of that. <sighs> That's more like it. Later in the movie, a storm hits the island, and John Hammond and his team need to stop the tour. When the storm hits, we see two shots of a pier at a coast getting hit by water. The two shots were filmed at the Nawiliwili Bay in Lihui, which is located on the southeast coast of Kauai, and it's 16 kilometers from the last location. The best way to see the pier is to drive to the Kuki'i Point Lighthouse. There is also a parking at the end of the road, and from there, you just need to walk 100 meters to get to the shoreline. We're now down by the water, and this is the closest match we can get for the shots in the movie. Two shots were made here, and both of them are shots of the pier out there. But it's hard to match the exact same camera angle. I think the shots for the movie were shot from the Marriott Resort at the beach over there with a very powerful zoom lens. And that's also where the production stayed during filming. On September 11, 1992, after three weeks of shooting Jurassic Park, the island of Kauai was actually hit by a Category 4 hurricane called Iniki. The production had to shut down and the film crew took shelter at the Marriott Resort. When the hurricane hit, a small film crew went to the beach to capture the huge waves on film, which has been used in the movie. Ultimately, Iniki was the worst hurricane to ever hit Kauai, causing over $3 billion in damage. And the entire island was out of electricity for months. Luckily, the film crew was only one day away from completing the filming on Kauai, but the missing scenes had to be shot elsewhere. Later in the movie, Dennis Nedry shuts off the electrical fences in Jurassic Park when he has to escape with the stolen dinosaur embryos. The two cars in the park with our main characters stop at the T-Rex paddock again, and this is absolutely the most exciting scene in the movie. The T-Rex breaks out of the fence and everything goes terribly wrong. Boy, my head being right all the time. When we see the T-Rex paddock location at night, it was actually not filmed on the same location on Kauai, but in a soundstage studio in Hollywood. So we're leaving Kauai and going back to California again. The T-Rex paddock location at night was filmed inside stage 16 at Warner Brothers Studios in Hollywood, which is over 4,000 kilometers from Kauai. We're now at Warner Brothers Studios and here we're going to take a tour to see the studio filming locations of Jurassic Park. Luckily, Warner Brothers Studios offer guided tours. So we booked a tour where we got to see the facilities, and the entire experience took three hours. We got to see movie sets, movie props and the sound stages. And the one we were looking for was of course stage 16 where the T-Rex paddock scenes at night were filmed. We weren't allowed inside the stage, but we got a good look from the outside. The sound stage has been used for many movies after Jurassic Park, so the T-Rex paddock set doesn't exist anymore. It's a huge sound stage, and it's 30 meters tall. The film crew replicated the entire T-Rex paddock location here, and they built a full-size animatronic T-Rex for this scene. And it was filmed on a soundstage, because it would be too difficult to bring the T-Rex to Kauai. And by filming indoor on a soundstage, they could also be in control of the weather for this long and difficult scene. And it's without a doubt, the most exciting scene in Jurassic Park. They used a T-Rex animatronic for most of the shots, but when we see the whole T-Rex walking around, then it's a digital dinosaur and the effects still look amazing. A few scenes later, Robert and Ellie go to the T-Rex paddock in a jeep to look for the others and find Ian who is wounded. As they leave in the jeep, the T-Rex arrives and starts chasing them. This is also one of the most exciting scenes in the movie. The scene should have been filmed on Hawaii, but due to the Hurricane Iniki, the film crew was forced to shoot it somewhere else. So this scene was also shot here at Warner Brothers Studios. It wasn't filmed inside a soundstage though, but outside on the Warner Brothers backlot known as The Jungle. We went there on the studio tour as well, and we had good time to walk around on the road where the scene was shot. It's hard to recognize the location, since the trees and plants look all different now, and also the scene was shot at night. 
This curved tree here on the right might be this tree in the movie, but it's hard to tell for sure. In the movie, the chase scene seems to take place on a very long curved road, but in real life, the road here at Warner Brothers Studios is only about 100 meters long, so they use the same part of the road over and over. If you look closely at the scene, you can actually see the T-Rex running past the same trees. For instance, take a look at these two trees crossing each other. And then, 11 seconds later, here they are again. And then here, very clearly, when the T-Rex breaks the tree on the road. And yet again, at the end of the scene, when the T-Rex gives up chasing them. I think I'll have that on the tour. That was the locations and Warner Brothers Studios. A lot of other scenes in Jurassic Park were also filmed on sound stages, but they were filmed in Universal Studios, which is right next to Warner Brothers Studios. And here they filmed all the interior scenes for the movie, but also a lot of exterior scenes. So we went to Universal Studios as well. If you're in Hollywood, I would highly recommend to go to Universal Studios. There is a tram tour, which takes you past the sound stages where Jurassic Park was filmed. Some of the sound stages have been demolished, but stage 27, for example, is still standing. A lot of scenes were filmed in there, including the scene with the explorer in the tree, Dennis Nedry getting attacked by the Dilophosaurus, Robert getting eaten by the Velociraptor, and Alan, Lex and Tim in the tree. The sets don't exist anymore, but the tram tour is still a very fun experience, with many interesting things to see from many movies, and there is a Jurassic Park Jeep as well. Universal Studios is not just a movie studio, it's also an amusement park. And there's even a Jurassic Park ride, which opened in 1996. It's a very fun boat ride, with beautiful decorations and animatronic dinosaurs. Everything is really well made, and it ends with a 26 meter drop. But in 2019, the Jurassic Park ride received a remodel and reopened as a Jurassic World ride instead. The ride is pretty much the same, but the decorations have changed, and there are new animatronics and special effects to see. But let's go back to Jurassic Park. After the T-Rex chase scene, we see Alan, Lex and Tim, who hear the T-Rex. Afterwards, they climb up a tree to be safe and spend the night. This scene was filmed on a soundstage in Universal Studios, as I mentioned before. The next day, they try to find a way out of the park on foot, and suddenly, Alan makes a disturbing discovery. He finds dinosaur eggs, even though it shouldn't be possible for the dinosaurs to breed. This scene was shot back on the Hawaiian island called Kauai, so we're leaving California again. The scene was shot in the National Tropical Botanical Garden called Allerton Garden, which is located on the south coast of Kauai. And the exact address is 4425 Lawai Road in Koloa. We've arrived at the Allerton Garden and we're now going on a tour to the Jurassic Park filming location. You can't just walk in there by yourself, but the garden offers guided tours where you go on a bus, which will take you into the garden. The tour is about 3 hours long, and the price is $60. You get to see the whole garden, which is quite big, and it's very beautiful. And the guide will also take you to the Jurassic Park location, which we were there for. I see the trees. The scene was shot at these trees, called Morton Bay Fig Trees. There are three of them, and Alan finds the eggs at the tree in the middle. The trees have grown a lot since 1992, when filming took place. But you can still recognize them and sit right where Alan finds the eggs. Yuck. Oh, great. Now to never try anything new. Just sit in a room and never come out and play on your computer. I'm a hacker. That's what I said. You're a nerd. I am not a computer nerd. I prefer to be called a hacker. Oh, God. You know what this is? It's a dinosaur egg. There are actually two other Jurassic Park locations here in Allerton Garden. When the group goes on the tour in Jurassic Park, the two cars drive by the Dilophosaurus paddock as the first attraction. This scene was also shot here in Allerton Garden. The location should be on a road close to the Morton Bay fig trees we just saw, but we weren't able to find the location or recognize any of the trees. Then there's the other location. When Robert is protecting Ellie and Ellie runs to the maintenance shed, that was also filmed here in Allerton Garden. This location should be close to the Morton Bay fig trees as well, but we weren't able to find that location either. The maintenance shed was built for the movie, and it doesn't exist anymore, which makes it even more difficult to find the right place. So let's move on to the next location. I 
think we better get moving. A couple of scenes later, we see Alan, Lex and Tim walking in a beautiful valley surrounded by mountains. Here they see a herd of dinosaurs called Gallimimus running in their direction. Alan and the kids take shelter under a tree trunk and then the T-Rex arrives and eats a Gallimimus. The scene should have been filmed on Kauai, but again, due to the Hurricane Iniki, it had to be filmed somewhere else. So instead, the scene was shot on another Hawaiian island called Oahu, which is about 150 kilometers from Kauai. Oahu is about the same size as Kauai, it's about 40 kilometers wide, and this island is also very beautiful. The population of Kauai is only about 75,000, but the population here on Oahu is over a million. So the cities on Oahu are much bigger, and there are roads across the island, so it's much easier to get around. There are even interstate highways as well, and tunnels through the mountains. It's a very beautiful experience taking the interstate. And while we were on Oahu, we also met up with another huge Jurassic Park fan who lived on the island. And he actually owned a replica Jurassic Park Jeep with the number 27. And I also got to drive the Jeep, which was a really fun experience. Anyway, the scene with Alan, Lex and Tim in the valley was shot at Kualoa Ranch, which is located on the northeast coast of Oahu. Kualoa Ranch is a very big private nature reserve and a working cattle ranch. It's also a very big tourist attraction, so luckily you can go on a guided tour. We're now on the Hawaiian island called Oahu and we just arrived at the Kualoa Ranch and here we're going to see the next filming location of Jurassic Park. Kualoa Ranch offers many different tours and activities, and we went on the tour called Movie Sites and Ranch Tour, which takes you to the Jurassic Park filming location. The tour is 90 minutes long, and the price is $52. Kualoa Ranch consists of approximately 16 square kilometers, so it's a big area. When you go on the tour, you go on a bus with a guide, which will take you around the valley. I really recommend going to Kualoa Ranch if you're on Oahu. It's a very beautiful place. The bus will stop at different sites where you have time to walk around, but the one we were there for was of course the Jurassic Park filming location. Surprisingly, the original tree trunk used in the movie is still here, most of it at least, which makes it even more fun to visit this location. Visitors have it's just about a mile over that rise there. Just keep... Wheeling a uniform direction changes just like a flock of birds evading a predator. It's the same way again. Yes. Go now. A lot of movies and TV series have been filmed here at Kualoa Ranch, and there are signs along the tour that shows the productions and where they were filmed. Godzilla from 1998 was also filmed here at Kualoa Ranch when Nico is standing in the giant footprint. And surprisingly, the footprints are still here, which is really cool. Kong Skull Island from 2017 was also filmed here. And on the tour, you get to see giant bones made of styrofoam, which were used in the movie. Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle from 2017 was also filmed here, and Pearl Harbor from 2001, Fifty First States from 2004, and many other movies. And also the TV series Lost, which ran for six seasons between 2004 and 2010. And by the way, Jurassic World from 2015 was also filmed here at Kualoa Ranch and some of the sets and props are still here. The sequel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom from 2018 was filmed here as well. That was the Jurassic Park filming locations. Jurassic Park has always been one of my favorite movies ever since it came out in 1993 and I've always been amazed by the beautiful locations in the movie so it was really exciting to find them and see it all in real life. <laughs>